Diabetes is the leading cause of lower extremity amputations. Most amputations are preceded by a foot ulcer. Foot ulcers are caused by two major reasons. I will explain them in this video. The first major problem that leads to foot ulceration in diabetes is poor circulation, also known as peripheral arterial disease. Diabetes accelerates the formation of plaque in the artery walls. This plaque is made of cellular debris, calcium, cholesterol, and fat, and accumulates over years. As this plaque continues to develop over the years, the artery becomes more blocked, or what we call in medicine, occluded. The plaque begins to increase and increase, beginning to cause symptoms, all the way to the point where there's no longer any blood flow. This is the same process that causes heart attacks, strokes, blindness, and kidney failure in diabetes. The second big problem that leads to foot ulcers and diabetes is peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy is nerve injury giving symptoms such as numbness, tingling, and funny sensations of the feet. It can even lead to deformities of the feet. Signals are sent from cells called neurons down extensions called axons. Here you can see the neuron is sending a signal normally down this axon, as you can see this pulsating. In diabetic peripheral neuropathy, we start to lose this blue tubular structure in this diagram called the myelin. As you can see over time, the signal has decreased or disappears altogether. As the result of a loss of nerve function, these folks can lose feeling in their toes and in their feet, the inability to sense pain, there's inability to sense cold, the inability to sense when there's a foreign object inside of their shoes, which can cause a break in the skin and lead to infection. Diabetic foot ulcers can be caused either by peripheral arterial disease or peripheral neuropathy, but there are occasions when patients will have both. Here we see the early skin changes that is associated with the formation of foot ulcers. As time goes by, the skin begins to break down completely, especially in pressure areas like the ball of the foot and the bottom of the heel. Foot deformities such as hammer toes and bunions put increased pressure on the skin. And a nerve condition called Charcot arthropathy the foot begins to bottom out, become rocker bottom through the breakdown of the joints and the bones in the middle of the foot. We can get complete breakdown of the skin and the formation of an ulcer in the Charcot arthropathy. As blood circulation begins to worsen, we can see skin changes throughout the foot. We can see further breakdown in areas of the foot that are generally not associated with increased physical pressure. We see color changes in the toes, such as purple or blue. It begins to really worsen and then becomes gangrenous. This is where amputation comes into play. As we can see, peripheral arterial disease and peripheral neuropathy are significant contributors to the formation of foot ulcers and amputation in diabetics. Stay tuned to this channel as I will dive deeper into these issues individually, talking about early intervention and prevention. Like this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have diabetes or someone in your family has diabetes, share it with them. But most importantly, take care of your